What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode on the Chris Law Network. I am your host, Chris Law. I was out earlier and um, I heard about the uh, killing of a Minneapolis black man by a police officer. And um, of course, when I got home, I had to come and find the video because, I, like I said, I had just heard about it. And you know how it is when you only heard about something. You haven't seen it. So I'm gonna watch the video with y'all and um man, I just don't understand. I sat here and I just watched one of the worst videos I think I've watched in a long time. So apparently I'm not even sure what the guy had done. I'm not sure whatever he had done. Um there was no excuse for this at all. I'm gonna let y'all watch it with me. We'll go play by play. Get it down, man. Let it breathe, Lee, man. Let it breathe. I've been trying to get it off. So let it breathe, Lee, man. I'm not holding that. 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 Now, first of all, the man is already in cuffs at this time. He's already in cuffs. Number one rule he's already in cuffs. That means he doesn't pose you any threat, officer. See, I'm telling y'all, man, a lot of these officers, not all of them, but a lot of them be the biggest punks in the world when they don't have that uniform on. Prime example, this one of them, because I guarantee this dude right here, this dude, they got his knee on the back of this guy's neck while this guy is begging and pleading, like, please get up off of the man is in cuffs. At that point, at that point, he is no longer a threat to you, even if he's aggravating you. Let him talk. Just get up. What do you want? He asked him, What do you want? Do you realize how much weight right now is on the back of this man's neck? Do you have any idea the amount of weight and the amount of pressure that is on the back of this man's neck? Now, I know a lot of people be like, oh, well, if you can talk, you can breathe. Yeah, right before you can't really breathe anymore, you can still talk because you're you're groveling, you're begging, pleading, please let me up. And this punk ass fucker says, what do you want? Please leave my baby. I can't breathe shit. Uh -huh. Bro, get up, get in the car, man. I will. Get up, get in the car. I can't move. I can wipe your whole Get up, get in the car. Mama. Did you not see when he literally, at that moment, he put down even more weight on the back of his neck? This is a punk ass policeman. Who, whatever his name is, Minneapolis, Minnesota, you are a punk ass officer and you deserve your ass to be whooped. You are the officer that make the other ones look bad. You are the reason why people out here doing stuff to officers and treating them certain ways when they out and about. You are the reason why people have to um, have their guard up and why other officers are really in fear of their life. You are the reason why you punk. At, I don't even want to say all that on here because I know they'll try to flag the video, but I'm pissed, bro. He treated this man like he wasn't even a human being. He treated his man like he was not a human being. Get up! Get in the car! Right. I, I can't! can't. You can't get all that to get in, bro! I mean, you can't win! My knee! You can't win, man! I'm through! I know you're in there! Who can And then, this guy, Tao, last name spelled T-A-O-O, -O, you had an option at that moment as you're looking in because you can tell on your face that you are not agreeing with what's going on. But because of your brotherhood, because of your oath, you didn't step in. You didn't step in to say, all right, man, get up. That's enough. You could have saved that man's life, Tao. You another punk ass too. 
And then at that ah. moment, at that moment, do you realize he's already got pressure on his back of his neck? You're now dropping all of your, he's, he continuously adds even more pressure by applying more of his weight to drop down on this man's neck. No concern for life whatsoever. No concern for life. <laughs> and then if anybody had to try to step in, they would have been in the same position or worse, gotten shot. If anybody had to try to run over there and step in, they would have they would have been tackled to the ground immediately and said that they were um uh I can't even think. I'm I'm so pissed I can't even think of what um what law they would have tried to say that they were uh, violating. Can't even think of it. Brother, you're bleeding in his neck, man. He's bleeding. Like, look at his nose. You see the knee in his neck. The man is in handcuffs. Rule number one, the man is in handcuffs. His hands are cuffed behind his back. He's on the ground. He poses you no more threat, officer. You learned that in the academy, didn't you, officer? So this man pissed you off that much. What did he do to you, officer? Now, I know a lot of times, you know, we need to wait until we actually see the full tape or, you know, what happened prior to him getting on the ground. But in this instance, I don't care what happened before he got on the ground. You were wrong. You were wrong. This is inhumane. Look at his punk ass, and then look at his punk ass homeboy. This is why you don't do drugs. I don't care what drug he's on. The man is handcuffed, dude. See, officers like this, they used to get their lunch money took in school. They still punks. They put that badge on. Now you, now you tough. Now you tough. Put your hand in there. Right. He is human, bro. He's getting nose. Put him in there. And you looking down on him as if you can't tell that, hey, Okay, this is enough. Look at him. Look at his face as he looks down on him. I wish I could make this bigger, but I don't want to expand it anymore. But look at his face. He's looking down on him as if to say, basically, I'm going to choose your fate at this moment. You're choosing. Are you God? Police officer? He's getting a kick out of it. If you can tell at points, you can see his knee is grinding harder in the back of his neck. Who are you to sit here and play God at that moment? To choose whether he lives or dies. You know you're not in any kind of uh, danger at this moment. He's cuffed. He is cuffed. Uh, I'm going to fast forward a little bit because this pretty much just continues to go on. You can see how much time is elapsing. And he still has his knee on this man's neck. But at this point, he is not responding anymore. He's not making any sounds. I'm sorry. At this point, you can see him. He's not making any sounds. His face has went totally blank. He's not begging to stop anymore because why? He can't. This man is dead. Look at this. Is he breathing right now? Check his pulse. 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 
check his call, Tom. Tom, check his call. Tom, check his call. Whatever training that they're doing for the Minneapolis Police Department, you should be ashamed of yourself. You are the captain of them. You should be ashamed of yourself. These people came, to, um, came up under your tutelage. You should be ashamed of yourself, sir. Totally inhumane. Pause, bro. Oh, do, bro, bro, check his phone, bro. Okay. You bogey, bro. Don't do you bogey. Don't, don't do drugs, bro. What, what is that? What do you think that, that is? You so you call what he doing okay? Get back to the call what he doing okay. You call you call what you doing. You call what he doing okay, bro. Bro, you 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 call you think that's okay? Check his phone. He's telling them to get off the sidewalk. That is what you're worried about, Tao. You're worried about them being on the sidewalk. But at no point did you tell your brother. At no point did you tell your brother. All right, man, he's had enough. Get your, get your foot off his neck. Get your knee out of his neck. He's in cuffs. He's not posing any threat to us. If he wants to lay on the ground on his stomach and talk and say all kind of stuff, whatever he wants to say, you let him do that. But you do not put your neck in the back of this man's neck. Once he is on the ground and in cuffs. Now, if you need to do that in order to get him in cuffs, once you do so, all your threat is gone, sir. Kyle, check his cross. Check. The man ain't moved yet, bro. The man ain't moved yet, bro. Unbelievable. Bro, you're a bum, bro. You're a bum, bro. You're definitely a bum, bro. Check the cross. Bro, he has not moved, not one time. He's out. They're, they're begging him to check this man's pulse. Let me try to see the rest of this. Look. We gonna let him keep that like that? See how much time has elapsed? Look how much time has elapsed. He still has his knee in this man's neck. This man is clearly not moving anymore. He's gone. He's gone. Huh? Huh? Like, bro, he's not even fucking oh, moving right now, now bro. This he's not even fucking moving. Bro, bro. Right. Right. He black. They don't care. Now he's shaking his head. Watch this. Watch this. You're going to just sit there with your knee on his neck, bro. The stretch, the ambulance is there. They're taking the stretch out. Is he still posing you a threat, you punk bitch? You a bro, you a bro, you a real man for that, bro. He ain't here. Look at him, bro. Just a real man, bro. You a real man, bro. I tell you, you a real man, bro. The fact that you guys are checking his pulse and doing the compressions if he needs that, you guys are on another level. Oh my God, bro. They didn't even know what to do. They didn't even know what to do. Yeah, I have your name tag, bitch. That's not a bad question. It don't matter. So what? Freedom of speech. Freedom of speech, son. Don't touch right there, Mr. Tough Guy. You cannot touch those people, Tao. He can't touch you. I don't know what kind of training these police are getting. You're ready to basically, you want to kill somebody else. You are just as at fault as the person whose knee was in the back of that man's neck. You are just as much at fault, sir. People, I don't know what it's going to take. <laughs> At this point, I don't know what it's going to take. We are treated like animals. We are treated like animals. What, what else do we have to do to show that we are human beings? What else do we have to do? I'm serious at this point. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know what else we do. It's not time for any more singing. It's not time for any more singing, any more we shall overcomes. It's time to overcome. 